Okay, in 6-1 we were graphing systems and finding out what their intersection point was. Now we're going to use substitution to find out what their intersection point is. So let's take the equation y equals 2x plus 1. And then we're also going to take the equation 3x plus y equals negative 9. Now, if we were to graph these, the first one is in slope-intercept form already. The second one, we'd have to subtract 3x to both sides to get it in slope-intercept form. But we're just doing substitution today. And you'll notice <coughs> that y equals 2x plus 1. Very, very important. So if I'm substituting, I'm going to go to the second one, and everywhere I see a y, I'm going to replace it with 2x plus 1. So it will look something like this, 3x plus 2x plus 1 equals negative 9. Now I can't combine any like terms in there, so I just eliminate the parentheses. That gives me 3x plus 2x plus 1 equals negative 9. Now I can combine like terms. That gives me 5x plus 1 equals negative 9. Subtract 1 from both sides. I get 5x equals negative 10. Divide both sides by 5. And x equals negative 2. So that's my x coordinate. Now, to find my y coordinate, I can substitute that x value back into either one of those equations. I'm going to take the first one. y equals 2 times negative 2 plus 1. y equals negative 4 ah, plus 1. So that tells me that y equals negative 3. That's a horrible looking example. Sorry about that. There we go. So now my y coordinate is negative 3. Okay. Again, you could have graphed that and you would have found that to be the intersection point, but this is a little easier way to do it. So let's look at one that might not be in slope intercept form for both of them. How about x plus 2y and then 3x minus 4y equals, what's this going to equal, 28. <clears throat> so in this case, I don't have one that's, that's right away set up for me. I can take that top one, though, pretty easily. I can get x by itself by subtracting the 2y. So that's x equals negative 2y plus 6. Okay, so now I know what x is. Again, I'm going to color it nice and yellow here. So I'm going to substitute that into the second equation. So I'm going to have 3 times negative 2y plus 6 minus 4y equals 28. That gives me negative 6y plus 18 minus 4y equals 28. I know these steps seem lengthy, but we got to show everything. Negative 6y minus 4y is negative 10y. Subtract 18 from both sides. Divide by negative 10. y equals negative one. And so now I'll go up here, 
substitute in the y. Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2 plus 6. So that gives me an x value of 8. So my solution is 8, negative 1. Okay? Don't forget that you'll also have a couple that might be uh, no solution because they're parallel. Again, you can see that when you look at similar slopes or when you substitute in if the variables cancel but there's no equal number on, for example, let me, I'm sorry, let me do something like this. Let's say I've done all my substitution and I get um, 6x minus 12 equals 10 plus 6x. Let's say you get something like that. Remember the 6x's will cancel and you get a number in the middle that does not equal. Okay, obviously negative 12 does not equal 10. This would be one of the no solutions because they would be parallel. Okay. And then the other one, the infinite solution, that's when the number would equal itself. So in another example, if I had something like that, the positive 4x's cancel. Negative 8 equals negative 8. So that would be the same line. So that would be infinite solutions. Okay? A little over 7 minutes. That is 6-2, solving systems with substitution.